What's up, fuckers? Welcome to another episode of the Blade Cartel Presents. I'm your host, Puerto Rican with a knife. Today, before I get started, if y'all like my content, I kindly ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Um, it helps the algorithm, and it helps me in my attempt to go viral, goddammit. That's right. Quick little video today. Um, got, in, got a recent order from uh, Skiff Workshop. If y'all are familiar with that, they're Skiff Bearings. Um, true story. I had never used Skiffs in any of my knives until I bought some Skiffs and put them in the uh, F5.5, Murdered Out Edition. And um, I love it. It quickly turned me out. So I immediately, being that I got two of these, um, actually had three, but I have two left. I had to buy another set to put in the uh, the other variant that I have. So let's get to it. F5 Murdered Out Edition is the one we use to cut open the box or the rather the container. There's a couple of, uh, oh, wait a minute. What's the first? Oh, here we go. Here we go nothing extra you can use the lefty edc at checkout uh you can get 10 percent off at the skiff i cut the bag but that ain't nothing i bought a couple of uh i bought two different sizes i, I don't for, i don't remember what knife was the other one for and i don't recall off the top of my head what size was the original f5.5 so this is from my first change out and they are f5.5 let's try to turn a little bit of light this way to see if we can get a better better view what if i do that let's see okay so the original ones are five mil one sixteenth eleven count five mil one sixteen eleven count so these go to something else entirely. I don't remember, but I'm sure it'll hit me. All right, there ain't no rhyme, there ain't no uh, rocket science on this. Um, it's just we bang it out. But in case y'all have never done it, I wanted to show you the one I'm putting the uh, skiffs in today. Oh my goodness, it doesn't even seem like it needs the damn skiffs. But even if it doesn't really need them per se. Um, I noticed the skiffs make that, if there is any type of blade play, it helps with that and it is a little bit quieter and just smoother all around. So I bought them, so let's fucking do it. Uh, we're gonna need T8 to start the, coming out the gate. I'm going to be using this new tool that I recently got, which is the CRKT thumb driver or whatever they call it. Basically a, uh, far cheaper version than the good screw we're gonna just take out this pivot i may even try to do like they do when they speed the videos up if i can do it i'll do it don't want you guys to have to torture torture yourselves trying to watch this but if you've never done any type of bearing change outs or if you just want to see it and support me by watching i appreciate it all right so let's uh keep all of our screws somewhat organized i love the fact that on this f5.5 mm, god damn hold on a minute i need some more torque than that on the f5.5 they are all t8s there we go that one has some motherfucking oomph to it yeah i'll tell you i, I was late to the f5 party but I ended up getting three uh, starting in, I believe, October was the first one I got. And it, I got turned out, man. Love them. So I can see what all the all the uproar is about for show. Okay. I'm going to have to take it out on that side as well. No, I don't. Actually, I think I can leave it in there. Try not to cut myself. There's our uh, stop pin need that hmm. 
something must be grabbing it still. Let's see what's going on here. I think I had this same type of issue. There we go. Just got to give it a little something to... As a matter of fact, I don't even got to take it take it off past that. But you can see here, this is the acid etched. And literally, you can see where that detent track has some shit on it. Got to remember that they have uh, washers on the other side of the bearing. That is to avoid any conflict with the titanium rubbing up against that blade steel. And since I'm, since I have it opened up, I might as well. Oh, and another thing you gotta remember too, all right, when you put these skiffs in, if you have uh, washers besides your bearings, rotate them because they've already worn a track in with those uh, stock bearings. And so if you want a smooth transition, flip that hoe. So that one's been flipped. You usually can tell. Like for instance, this, this side right here is the side that needs to be, that's the side that needs to be against the bearing. And as you can see, when they, when they run, when they uh, run that path over that washer, it leaves a, uh, a track. So that's gonna be the way they're gonna be going in next, or rather, once they've been replaced, I'm going to take a little bit of a uh, little bit of alcohol and clean off the uh, tang of that blade, clean off where my bearings are going, that track on both sides. Get in there nice and good, especially this side. This was the side that had the uh, Wait a minute. Okay. Thought I had a burr stuck in that um, detent hole, but I don't. So tell me, have, would you guys, I hope you guys had a good holiday, man. I hope everyone got some good knives. Spend some, more importantly, you spend some time with your family and your loved ones. Let's go ahead and save these for uh, anything else I might need in the future. What I always do when I do this type of shit because my memory is so uh, so spotty, is I'll write myself a little note, like I write down, these were original from the F5.5, goddammit. So that is that. We'll put these up for a later date. Um, back to the alcohol. I'm using some of my, uh, let me back up a little bit. Some of these doodads is what I guess they call them, the cool kids call them. I call them goddamn Q-tips. Take one of these, just give it a little bit of alk, get up in these spots, get up on this uh, bearing track of the tang of the blade. Go ahead, let that dry for a second. And then here is the, uh, the other side of the scale. This is where the, uh, that washer will, will sit at. Let me do the same thing to this side of the, uh, this is the lock bar plate, or rather the liner, lock bar liner. You can see there's a bunch of gook on that shit. That's what was making all that, all that grime on my detent area, my detent ball. Okay, so, yeah, you guys can see there's quite a bit of uh, shit on there. I'm already nine minutes in and we didn't get to it yet, goddammit. All right, this is a captured pivot, I believe. Yes, right? I believe so. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I don't know if y'all do it, but I always uh, lubricate that pivot, um, that pivot base also, because your knife is spinning on that as well. So it doesn't hurt to lube that up. So for that, I'm gonna take me another doodad one that doesn't have the alcohol on it and we're going to take out the uh, kpl brothers and sister the uh, light and the heavy 
case you don't know, we put our heavy on our detent ball and the detent track, um, and we put our light on the other parts. Okay, what I do to avoid going ham with the with the lube is I'll simply take a, a drop or two, put it on my index finger, take this new skiff bearing, place it there, rub it around, get those balls rolling. Hey, take my other one, and I should still have enough left on my fingers to lubricate that one as well. You don't need a lot, man. This shit goes a long way. So those two are good to go. I then even take the, uh, now I may put another drop on here. Oh, that's the heavy. I almost fucked up. Not that you'll fuck up per se, but for some reason they, they don't recommend that. So now remember when we put these washers back in, we want to make sure we have it uh, flipped over to that new side so it can form a new path. So that's my old side. This is the new side I want. Rub that in there. Put the new side up. We're good to go on that. Remember what I was saying to y'all about taking the, um, the KPL, putting a little dab on our Q-tip, and then I go ahead and I lube that, uh, let me wipe my fingers off so I can grab this knife. I lube this pivot as well. Pivot barrel, there we go, couldn't think of the name. So now I'm gonna grab this knife with a, uh, with a rag so I don't get all that KPL everywhere. I may need to put another dot on here since I'm gonna lube up this, um, what is it, oh shit, I'm getting crazy. Then I also hit right up in there where our pivot houses Try to wipe off a little bit of that excess shit. Now we're gonna get on over to the uh, detent and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a nice little drop. Right there. Then what I'll do is I'll just take this tip using what I already have on the blade and follow that path all the way down with it. There we go, there's that. Then I'll even take a little, sorry for hitting the camera, take a little uh, dot of this as well, the heavy, and just tap, tap, tap that detent ball. So now we're good to go. Um, let's clean off this stop pin since I have it. I ended up unboxing a knife that I got last night from E-Knives. Um, not quite sure how I feel about it. I think I actually love the knife, but it's got a few features that I'm not happy with. Uh, more importantly, it's making a weird fucking noise when, you know, it's a rattle noise and that ain't gonna work for me. So I reached out to them. I've heard nothing but positive things from e about E-Knives, so I'm sure they'll they'll do right. All right, let's get back to the other side now. So wanna, once again, wanna make sure that we, uh, we're we flipping that washer over to where we're not. Uh, as a matter of fact, I ain't going with that just yet. Okay, first off, we gotta put our, uh, our skiff bearing in there. That's done. Now we're gonna put our washer, once again, putting the new path or rather the virgin side down on that, this is uh, fits in right there. One, two, three. I mean, this is this is baby shit, bro. This is easy. Definitely one of the easier knives to fuck around with. Once again, I want to grab, wipe this shit off so I don't oil up all those scales with all this KPL. First and foremost, I'm gonna go ahead and put that pivot screw back in just to. Hold the knife together. I don't tighten it all the way tight. I just put it in there to hold that. Then I'm gonna grab our uh, our body screws, put these in. All this is titanium. This uh, liners, hardware, 
clip, everything is titanium on the F5.5, which I love. I don't know if it's overpriced. Some, you know, it's about 250 depending on the, the version you get. But it's a great knife, man. Perfect EDC in some people's eyes. I tend to usually like a, a bigger knife, but it is, a, it is a perfect size, man, for just an everyday carry. For sure. As a matter of fact, I have uh, an idea for a video where I'm going to put up a budget version of an F5. What I think gives me F5 vibes. It's a recent knife that I got. Let's screw that one in, okay. Now this one needs to get screwed in. I don't know if, they, I don't know if I'm doing justice with the camera, but there we go. Definitely don't want to cross thread this. For some reason, I feel like I am. I think this was the one that was giving me a hassle. Huh. Something ain't right. There we go. Now, I'm going to take it out. Make sure I'm not cross-threading. So I just usually go in reverse. There we go. That's the ticket. The last thing we need to do is put in this pocket clip, and we'll be good to go. So far, I'm not loctiting anything. I don't necessarily... I kind of give it a trial and error. I'll keep it in the pocket for a little while, and we'll see, you know, see how it goes if it starts backing out. If I don't have to Loctite it, I do not Loctite it. So we're off center, but that's because we're not fully tightened yet. Let's start tightening it up. And we should pull right to center. Blade is centered. Locked up like a vault. I think I went a little too tight. Yeah, too tight. So, huh, something ain't right here, because it's not centered now. So, there we go. Oh, yeah. Huh. Mm. Something may have gone on there with that. I've been having some issues with these lockups lately, man, on a couple of different knives. There we go. I just think it wasn't sitting right. I've had a couple of different knives from a couple of different manufacturers, all overseas knives, to be honest with you, but um, literally getting them and flicking them hard with my forefinger, and it won't lock up. That isn't the case right now, but it's been happening quite a bit. Well, I think I dragged this out long enough, fuckers. Um... Another successful mod, one of the easiest mods we can do, and it makes a big difference for us. Highly recommend them if you're not using them yet, and that is the Skiffs. Uh, big shout out to Lefty EDC for putting me on to the Skiffs, and um, it's changed my life. <laughs> not really, but you know what I'm saying. Love you, mean it. Till the next time, cut something, cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.